the race-baiting Democrats are at it again. They are improperly implying a race issue and stealing your freedoms, landlords. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of the Ask James Wise Show here on Holton Wise TV, folks. Holton Wise TV is all about providing real estate investors with a look into the business, real estate education, entertainment, news, the whole shebang, right? If it involves investing in real estate, property management, all that stuff, we are here for you to bring you that stuff. The good stuff, the bad stuff, all the stuff. And freaking, man, I'm pissed. I am pissed about this, dude. This just pisses me off. I'm pissed about this law. I'm pissed about the Democrats. I'm pissed about the Democrats taking away your freaking freedoms. I'm t pissed that the Democrats have to turn everything into a race issue. They're race baiting this country. It bothers me. All right, let's talk about this. Just pulled this article up. I got it up on a couple websites, right? This one's from The Independent, right? Uh, the crux of the situation. New Jersey landlords can't ask tenants about their criminal history anymore. Can you freaking believe that, Steve? Y you own a freaking property, and you're not allowed to ask the guy if he fucking stabbed somebody before. Yeah, I think those are, you know, pretty basic questions that you should know. Like, dude, this is insane, folks, right? Like, can we quit with the vilification of the landlords in this country, right? How about this? How about this scenario, right? I'm Joe Blow fucking landlord in New Jersey, okay? I got a fucking 10-unit apartment building. You're fucking Susie Blow schmo from wherever. You move into my apartment building with your two beautiful little innocent children. Well, guess what? There's a vacancy right next to you. And the guy happens to be a fucking murderer, right? He stabbed a bunch of people, killed them, right, 30 years ago. Just got out of prison. I'm not allowed to ask him about that. I'm not allowed to deny him tenancy because of that in New Jersey because he's insane Democrats. So uh, I go ahead and place him in there, and boom! He kills your kids, right? Now what's up? Who who do we benefit? Who's the beneficiary of this this plan? It's insane, right? This, this thing is totally insane. And, of course, the Democrats being who they are, what they are, what they do, they, they try to turn this thing into a, a whole friggin' race issue, right? Uh it was just uh, Juneteenth, right? Juneteenth was just named a federal holiday, okay? So, first of all, yeah, the end of slavery as we know it in America, the very end, eradicating all slavery a in the United States of America, yeah, that's, that's fucking great. Obviously, that's good. That is, should definitely be a holiday. Why uh, the 4th of July has been a holiday for so long and, and it just took till now uh, to make Juneteenth a holiday, yeah, that's crazy, right? I think we can all, any reasonable human being who's not a piece of crap, can agree that slavery's bad, right? Everybody's on that page. Everybody's happy that there's no slavery. Steve, are you happy that there is no slavery? I am happy. That, that's great. I love the fact that slavery has been made illegal, and I love the fact that President Biden, I don't love a lot about what the guy does, but I love the fact that he made that a national holiday. It absolutely should be a national holiday. But I really hate... When these race-baiting Democrats, right, when you get race-baiting Democrats like this dude, New Jersey Governor Phil Murphy, right, Phil Murphy, he's the guy that passed this insane freaking law that just limits uh, what you as Americans can do, limits your safety, limits your personal freedom, and this is what he had to say. As we commemorate Juneteenth, we must commit to both remembering the past and continuing to take action to ensure communities of color, especially black Americans, achieve the full equity they deserve. That's what he had to say, trying to tie this whole thing in to Juneteenth, right? Trying to take two completely separate issues and tie them together, right? Trying to create battle and and just uh, vilification and, and uh, just animosity, right? This is insane. Steve, what, how do you feel about the fact that you could be a property owner and you are legally unable to ask convicted murderers about their criminal history? Yeah, I think that's crazy. I mean, I feel like, I don't know if you're liable for, for that stuff, but you're definitely more at risk. Uh, like, that's insane, right? Like, everybody... 
off the top of their head, right? They picture the rich jerk landlord trying to beat up on the little guy, right? Okay, but in practice, what about the single mother with her children who's now going to be living in an apartment building with potentially dangerous felons? Where do we get as a country <laughs> where we strip rights of hardworking Americans? We strip their property, their basic property rights, the ability to run their business, the ability to keep their other customers safe in favor of assisting convicted felons. Now, there is a little bit, just to be fair, there is a little bit uh, of leeway here, uh, a little bit of reason. Let me find it. You might be wondering why I'm walking around in a bikini. Because this is America, that's why. Land of the free, home of the brave, the land of opportunity. Like the opportunity to click the link below and start investing today. Like I said, to be fair, they, they did uh, they did put a couple restrictions, but Steve, let me know if you think these are, are fucking reasonable or they're just bullshit, right? So, technically speaking, on the application, you cannot ask, right? So, if you're applying in my apartment building, I can't be like, hey, Steve, have you killed anyone ever, right? That's illegal. Apparently, we're at the point in America where that doesn't make sense, okay? But... After I conditionally approve your application, I am permitted to uh, run a background check. I am actually allowed. But if you've committed any first-degree felony more than six years ago, right, I am not allowed to deny you for that, right? So if you fucking killed somebody, right, odds are good. Your prison sentence was a lot more than six years, would you not agree? I would agree. Yeah, so if you killed somebody and you just did a 20 year stretch, you're a convicted murderer, I'm screwed. I can't do anything about it. So these uh, little tiny uh, things they put in there to attempt to pass this off as some type of common sense legislation is just completely friggin' nuts, man. Let me know you guys' thoughts in the comments. Let me know what investors out there in New Jersey are going to do. We got a lot of investors out there in Jersey right now who are no longer spending their money in Jersey. Instead, they're bringing a lot of that stuff over here uh, to the state of Ohio. state of Ohio is a red state, so we do have some common sense landlord-tenant policies. Uh, click the show notes below if you'd like more information on working with our team, moving your money out of an insane place like Jersey into somewhere more reasonable. And again, let me hear your thoughts on the Democrats' latest race-baiting, freedom-sucking law. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.